Okay. So, um, I did a little YouTube search, and I didn't really find any videos about removing the crank spacer from an LS block. So that's specifically what this video is going to be about, is how you remove this. And you can see, mine is very clear because you can see two different color materials plus this line. The very early blocks for the 6 liter do not have an actual spacer, they just had a longer crank. The later models, sorry the camera's going to shake, you're all strapped on my engine stand. Um, the later blocks, however, do have the shorter crank, um, which I've had the rear cover on, you could see, but you can see where the gasket was riding here. Um, the later blocks do have the shorter crank, and they put spacers in there. So we're going to see if this comes off um, just with a chisel. And <clears throat> I'm doing this right after installing new bearings in the bottom of this motor, which I really shouldn't do this because whacking on it is going to put stress on the thrust bearing. But if this comes off easy enough, it won't really hurt anything. So we're going to give it a try here. I'm just going to take my chisel. This is nice and sharp. And I'm going to stick it in here. I'm going to be careful to mine the reluctor wheel. And I'm just going to give it a whack. And as you can see, it's started to separate. So I'm going to rotate the crank a little bit. And I'm going to give it another quick couple taps. And I'm not hitting very hard. Now this one appears to be coming off fairly easily. Um, but some of these, I know, really get stuck on there. Um, and if that's the case, you might actually want to pull the crank so you don't damage the bearings, but that's up to you. you can take the risk if you want. Um, now it has to come over a flange. So the outside flange you see here, there's one on the inside too. So once it comes off that flange, it's essentially going to drop off. These flanges are different sizes as far as I know. I haven't actually measured the inside versus the outside to know for sure, but I do believe they're different sizes. I'm not going to measure that. You guys can do that on your own if you want. Um, but as you can see, it's separating. Now, I'm being honest here. I've never taken this off of here. Uh, this is a engine block I got out of the junkyard um, the crankshaft is one out of another engine I got out of the junkyard the first motor I got from the junkyard was actually froze damage so the block actually had cracked um, from freezing somebody didn't run enough coolant in it and they actually ran just too much water and there you go so like I said different sizes I do believe um, let's see is it Maybe not. Maybe they are the same size. Um, but if you're going to pull this off and you need to run it without it, make sure you clean this up before you put the flywheel on. I'm not sure if the application I'm putting this motor in is going to need it, so I wanted to pull it off now. Because if the oil pan's on here you do it, it you can't get quite as good an angle. So essentially the oil pan's here. I can only kind of whack from this angle, which then it's requiring me to actually separate, and I can't get forced to knock it this way. So... But that's it. I mean, that's that's pretty much pretty straightforward how they come off. You can buy replacements of these if you need to cut it off. Um, they're not very much money. I think I saw them online for like 15, 20 bucks. So um, hopefully this helps somebody if you've uh, had the same question that um, that I had earlier today. Um, like I said, I'm making this short video because I just didn't see anybody made one of these. Um, maybe somebody did, but. I didn't see it. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.